No matter where you are located, almost all of your internet data is transmitted through a hidden network of undersea cables, in fact of all internet. Traffic runs through this hidden infrastructure of thousands of miles of fiber optic cables that zigzag our ocean floors with our dependence on the internet increasing by the day. Modern life is totally reliant on these subaquatic wires, but how do they work? And what is the future of internet? Communications also, how is it possible that your internet connection is almost Almost always there don't these cables get destroyed by ships and sharks in today's video let us explore the depths and find out how the internet travels across oceans the idea of transmitting signals through wires by connecting two land masses separated by an ocean is not new the first ever undersea cable was laid in between Britain and France later in the Atlantic Ocean was bridged it is hard to imagine that we are still essentially using the same concept even after years these undersea cables are laid down by specialized ships called cable layers that hold thousands of miles of coiled cables on their decks after charting a safe path avoiding fishing zones anchoring areas fault lines and other potential dangers these ships navigate the course and slowly uncoil cable onto the oceans surface buoys are used to keep the cables floating once the operators are satisfied and the weather is right they cut the buoys and allow the cables to sink to the ocean floor underwater technicians will follow its pro Progress to make sure that the cables do not get tangled and are being laid in the right place according to the submarine cable map of the world as of over subsea cable systems have been laid crisscrossing all the major oceans and seas combined that's over miles of undersea cables operational today twice the distance between our earth and the moon but these are obviously not the same types of cables used a century ago the modern subsea cables on which our wireless world rests are specifically designed to carry large amounts of data packets over long distances these cables are are rarely much wider than a garden hose but at their core are many individual fiber optic threads each carrying billions of bits of information per second the fiber optics are sheathed in various layers of silicon plastic steel wiring copper and mylar the design is optimized to provide insulation to the signal and protect the cable from damage from weather man-made or natural events or even wildlife yes you heard that right ocean wildlife like sharks gnawing on a cable can cause major damage and it has happened before to some of Google's cables so you know I can't help but think a shark eating through cables would be a better game than Chrome's jumping. Dinosaur although by far the most common cause of cable damage is accidental human activities such as fishing vessels or ships dragging their anchors. Along the ocean beds damage to these cables can be caused by intentional human activity as well like sabotage during times of conflict or by trans national terrorism activities however such incidents are historically rare but do not worry your family whatsapp group is in no danger companies that operate these cables follow a safety and numbers approach spreading their networks over multiple cables that way if one breaks it doesn't bring down the whole network with it anyways we digress let us get back to the cables the fiber optic threads are the secret sauce that makes these underground cables so successful the theory governing this technology is known as total internet reflection similar to the way light is reflected between two glass surfaces data signals are beamed down these subsea cables using the same principle in lasers when the lasers from one end hit the glass fibers it is reflected back up the length of the cable traveling toward the receptors at the other end of the cable this process is repeated over and over again at staggering speeds maintaining the global chain of communications and by bundling many fiber optic threads together in one cable this form of data transmission can handle enormous amounts of traffic all at once so how fast are these undersea modern cables you might wonder well the recently installed Maria transatlantic undersea cable which became operational in is capable of carrying terabytes of information per second along its eight fiber optic pairs as if this was not impressive enough Facebook or rather meta announced in late that it is contracting Japanese information technology Technology giant NX to make a transatlantic cable capable of transmitting at petabytes per second that is terabytes or gigabytes per second Facebook is also working on the largest subsea cable project in the world connecting countries in Africa the Middle East and Europe called to Africa it will stretch kilometers connecting three different continents and has a design capacity of up to terabytes per second at launch similar
Similarly, Google has also recently confirmed its high-speed subsea cable project Equiano, which will run from Portugal to South Africa, connecting Nigeria along the way. Of course, this does not mean that you, the end user, will get this speed anytime soon, but it would definitely allow your internet service provider to up their game and offer even faster speeds and more reliable connections. Speaking of providers, let us look at the owners of these massive networks of undersea infrastructures that literally run our world in the early days of the internet existing. Undersea cable networks were already owned and operated by major telecom carriers at TNBT, so they would lease out bandwidth to other players in the market. The decade of saw a major boom in the industry. Undersea cables began to attract investment from private companies as the entire world slowly digitized itself. These companies specializing in underwater cable technology saw the potential of huge profits and started selling capacity to telecom companies whose traffic demands were soaring through the roof in the last two decades. The landscape has changed yet again. Big tech giants such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Facebook are increasingly sponsoring their own undersea networks to match their customer needs while telcos such as at TNBT still operate or have stakes in dozens of undersea cables. They have long stopped leading the charge in new and emerging markets. In fact, as of Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft owned or leased more than half of all undersea bandwidth. Currently, Google alone owns six active submarine cables and plans to have eight more ready within two years, while Facebook has stakes in cables as part owner and is also developing their own as storage and distribution of content increases and the old cables laid down in the S slowly approach their retirement age. We are again seeing a boom in the undersea cable industry, but hang on a second, you are probably probably thinking what about satellite internet what about elon's plans with starlink or facebook's own satellite internet division isn't that the future of internet transmission as it turns out it is not or at least it won't be for the next few decades there are a few technical limitations that face the satellite internet industry which need to be solved before it can become a viable option first of all the cost of launching satellites launch cost still remains astronomically high second coverage demand that thousands of mini satellites be placed into low earth orbit covering the entire planet such densely packed constellations will exacerbate the problems of collisions and space debris third and final due to the nature of their orbit not every satellite will be in reach of a ground based antenna all the time this means that data packets need to be transmitted from one satellite to the next until it is in the range of a ground station satellite to satellite network hopping this is a technical challenge that most companies are still grappling with. Only Starlink has managed to get the approval of launching satellites in low Earth orbit. And then again, Elon has categorically stated that the company aims to provide internet to those users who currently do not have access to high-speed fiber. Thus, underseat cables still remain the most cost-effective and functional solution for high-speed internet transmission. That's why these tech giants are investing huge sums of money to lay newer and faster faster cables around the globe but with the incessant march of technology who knows what the future has in store for these vast networks under our oceans what do you think do you believe that undersea cables are the future or are they in danger of becoming obsolete just like the technology telegraph that spawned it years ago let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching